Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your coffee cup reading. Gosh, uh, we have some tears in here. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, in the bottom of the cup, you stand up. You have so many, you have people around you. You may be family, you enjoying uh, something together. Um, um, there is a... Uh, well, there is somebody that's taken something away that's maybe stealing from you or maybe because you're sitting on the side and it is like your back is bended. It's like you do too much, uh, you give too much, but this person is, is turning his back and holding something in his hands. You know, it looked like a flowers, but uh, it is really shocking you. It is really, it's, well, that's metaphorically, you know, when somebody taking the flowers, that means something that bring you joy in life. They taking it away and they're running away with it, you know, and that making you sad. The thing is, um, um, you 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 had to rise above that. You don't stay in there. You're standing up and you're looking at uh, this uh, um, at life. You're looking at things. It's like and you're surrounded with people around you. Lots of people, right? And you're looking at a way to to really um, rise. To really rise from the situation that happened or whatever is going on in life. But in here, what is funny is, uh, is your little girl and your little boy, they're sitting down in the middle of the cup and you are looking, it's like, why? Why do I keep getting the same thing over and over? You know, why do I get myself? Why don't I learn? Why don't I learn? Don't we all say that to ourselves? Why don't I learn this happened to me so many times? How did I let, how did I believe? How did I let it happen? But there is something had to do with you, with your little girl in there. Um, you have a person in here um, that's holding you, a person in here holding you, uh, and in here, um, your belly, you, you're pregnant, you know, your belly is so full, you have so much inside of you that you want to give out, but then uh, that you want to give to the world, you want, you, you have a um, uh, what you call it, uh, um, like a gift. It's a gift. The solar plexus is where your gifts hide, intuition, and even intuition is in between the eyes, but the real intuition of what you need of life and what you have deep inside of you, it's a knowing in your belly, you know? So you're sitting here as a little girl with another little, it's like a little girl and a little boy sitting together and you have the um, um, the lamp of uh, Aladdin and right in here and uh, it's like it is talking to you it's like you need to pay attention you guys the lamp is telling you something so something is coming to a uh, a magic, something is going to show up in your life, something is going to uh, bring, bring a new, uh, a new uh, life to you. I, I, I just feel like there is magic in here. You know, we all love to see Aladdin. Why? Because it is magic. It's all full of magic. So what if this magic is yours? What if this magic is meant for you? Do you want to miss it? I don't think so. I don't want to miss it. So whatever need to heal, whatever need to manifest, it need to move on. You need to rise above things and you need to not let them behind. You have to listen to your your. Uh, to the pain, you have to listen, you have to allow things to be in order for us to move away from it. But then the beautiful part in here is 
you, you did rise. This little boy and little girl sitting here, they rise. And maybe this is somebody in a relationship and you are above it up here with a beautiful, um, what you call this behind your back? Um, uh, uh, gosh, this bird. Um, the bird that has the long, beautiful feather tails. What you call it? Uh, oh my God. Gosh, I don't know how my brain is stopped sometime. Anyway, uh, it's like I have it. I can't, it's at the tip of my tongue. But anyway, it is the bird that has the long, beautiful tail. It's a bringing, look at that. It's a bringing um, a, a, a swan behind him, a swan, something is bursting in your life and you, something is coming in. A peacock, it's a peacock, a peacock. It is, it is, life is getting better the way it look, the way it feel and the way you're surrounding whatever you can do now, you can do before, but it is coming to fruition of more, of having more. Uh, this lamp is giving you more stuff and you're dancing in here with your partner. And there is a, a balance uh, scale in here to balance things out. So both of you are dancing and both of you have your hands up in the air. It's like you're grateful. You finally saw the magic in life. You finally saw what God is trying to, to, to bring to you. But it is this is beautiful. If I am you, I will look up the peacock and I will look up the swan because the peacock go first and then the swan. It is really beautiful. And you uh, work through your fears. And this is the new moon in a Scorpio. It is so funny that we all, we have a full moon and every sign up to now, when I pick a card, I'm picking a new moon card. So let's see what this card means. This card suggests a rebirth. Oh my gosh, that lamp in your cup, it is a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that rising from the ashes, as the death, as the birth, death, and rebirth paradigm. That's what the Scorpio energy is all about. And this card is a new moon in a Scorpio, right? Whatever you have been through, there is a new start ahead. It might be a little dark, if almost certainly won't be a rainbows and unicorn, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that you know you are magical. Oh my gosh, doesn't this resonate with the coffee cup? My goodness, I love it. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic, okay? It is time to work your magic. And it also herald the start of a sexier time. If you are being experiencing something of a drought, an emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind, and the spirit. So when the scars come up, there is something superficial about what's coming your way. Have some sexy time. <laughs> I love that. That is wonderful, you guys. You have a beautiful week. Don't forget to go and listen to your magical fairies, coffee cup reading. That is something I'll do once in a blue moon. And I want you to enjoy it. I want you to feel the magic inside of you. You're going to create the magic. Okay. Once you see it, you create it. So go for it. And don't forget to write me what, what, uh, which uh, fairy did you pick? You know, because I gave five fairies and they all showed up in the coffee cup. Amazing. Huh? So have a beautiful week. And I will, don't forget to like and subscribe.